Most medics that I see in pubs could improve their gameplay by a lot. If you like medic and you want to be the best medic you can possibly be, I recommend you watch this video. This is the top 10 of things you can improve to be the best medic. So if you are not a competitive pro medic player, I guarantee you that this video will be useful to you in some way. To make this video as informative as possible, I'll try to condense it and make it easy to understand. Utilize crit heals. Many people don't know what crit heals are. Everybody knows crits, as in critical damage, which is 3 times the normal damage. The same exists for heals, you heal 3 times the normal amount. Crit heals are available on targets when they haven't taken damage in the last 10 seconds and when they respawned. If you want to carry the game as medic, it is important to know that you can use crit heals. Use it to overheal as many players as possible before the round begins. Also use crit heals on players returning from spawn to the front lines to quickly give them a good overheal. Players can be overhealed for 150% of their max HP and this overheal fades by 10% per second, so it completely runs out after 15 seconds, which is plenty of time to buff all of the teammates surrounding you. Choosing the right medigun. This topic is a big one. I recommend you learn all the 4 mediguns, practice with them, develop preferences and then use them in the right situations by making them easily accessible in your 4 loadout slots. Use the stock medigun always at the beginning of the match, because the invulnerability Uber, is just that good in these situations. Also use stock to make pushes with a heavy or demo. Stock is also a medigun that has no overheal penalty. So I recommend it in situations where you pocket another player. Crit's Creek is a very situational medigun. It functions like stock, but builds uber faster and also gives crits on the patient when uber is used. If your team composition allows it and you have identified a very good player, preferably a soldier or demo, you can use crits uber on them. This medigun also has a proper overheal like stock. So you can use this medigun in situations where you prioritize a certain player with heals, aka pocket one guy. The vaccinator is a very special medigun. This one functions differently than the other mediguns and it requires a lot more micromanagement because you have to switch to the right resistance type. The vaccinator can be used in any situation, but it suits the medic the most that goes in a lot. You can build up bubbles fast, pop them and even continue building while one bubble is popped for an uber of 2.5 seconds. The vaccinator does not overheal well, so only use it to get all of your teammates to 100% health, then heal your most competent teammates and use ubers on them with the right damage resistance type. Also use it to push important points, because unlike the other mitiguns, an uber of the vaccinator still lets you cap. You can also defend yourself very well with it, by popping a bubble to save yourself. A good trick with the Vax is to pop a bubble on the target, quickly switch to a crossbow to fire a healing bolt, then switch back to Vax and beam. This way nothing can out damage you if you are on the right resistance. The quick fix heals faster and also builds uber faster. You as the medic jump with your patient with this medigun on big jumps. The overheal of the quick fix is bad, so only overheal for a small bit. The uber charge only heals a lot, so you and your patient can still die easily to crits, a backstab and also too much damage. Use this medigun when all of your teammates require a lot of healing. This medigun shines the most when you keep all of your teammates healthy all the time. Also, use the uber in a fight and flash all of your hurt teammates to heal everyone and win the fight. These are my loadout recommendations, you can use it as inspiration if you like. First up is the vaccinator, a loadout for many situations, especially for turning around a game that is almost lost. The second is the Chris Creek, which I only use on maps where it works and if there are good teammates available. This one is stock medigun that is just insane with the uber saw. Use the crossbow for very low HP teammates and to still do some heals when you retreat. 
the last loadout is Battle Medic, which works well with a quick fix. I use it when I'm with a clueless team that desperately needs quick healing and that is also not competent enough at the game to do anything to defend you. Distribute health between teammates. This one ticks me off so much. In almost every game I see that medic teammate that just doesn't heal me unless I stand still in front of his face and call medic many times. Be the medic that your team doesn't have to call out for, because you heal everyone without them having to call out for you. Watch the medic part of my TF2 settings video, it shows how to make the settings for auto calls so you know where your hurt teammates are without them having to beg you. Just click on the dude that is hurt, heal him to 100% then click on the next one, it's not that hard. But who to heal first? With that we come to the next one. Healing priority. Overheal soldiers first, because they will rocket jump. It's better to rocket jump with 300 HP instead of 200. Your priority number two are crit heals. You heal so fast that you can switch quickly between teammates that have crit heals available. Keep in mind that it is a lot better with medigun that can properly overheal, like stock or crit squeak. With crit heals, you can put teammates so fast to 150% HP that crit heals even have priority over other teammates, no matter if they are hurt or not. Priority number 3 are hurt teammates that perform well in the game. More on identifying who is good later. Priority number 4 are all others. Heal all the guys that need healing, also NGs and snipers. You build uber faster on a patient that is below full health so even heal the completely useless guy to build uber. If your team is at full health, prioritize your teammates that can get some stuff done and keep the beam on them, unless other good teammates are hurt. Choosing your primary. Let's be honest, it comes down to just the Crusader's crossbow and the Blutsauger. The crossbow is the meta for a reason. It is so good to heal teammates from a range. If things get too hot, Back up into safety and heal your patient with some crossbow shots. With increasing range to the target, the healing also increases. Same goes for crossbow damage. It is so versatile to clutch heal teammates from a distance or get some picks on the enemy team. It is also good at helping your team destroy sentries. Also use the crossbow when multiple teammates are at very low HP to burst heal them fast. The Blutsauger is your go-to primary if you play battle medic, but also if your team does nothing to protect you, so you take matters into your own hands. It also can be better than the crossbow on certain maps, like Harvest, where you get involved in fights a lot. The Overdose is a niche weapon, it is rarely used. You run faster relative to your Ubercharge when you switch to the weapon and that's it. I have never seen the appeal of it but some people like that primary a lot for some reason. Choosing your melee. Here we are in a similar situation. We got the meta, which is the Ubersaw, and the other viable option, which is the Solemn Vow. Everything else is so much worse in comparison that it can be ignored. The Ubersaw is extremely good. You get 25% Uber charge on a successful hit. You can also hit guys during your Ubers to extend the Uber. For most loadouts, the Ubersaw is just the best. But for some playstyles, the Solemn Vow is better, and these are Battle Medic and the Vaccinator. You see the enemy's health, so it's a no brainer as a Battle Medic. For Vaccinator, the Ubersaw is not that good, because you build bubbles so fast. It's good to go for easy melee kills or long range crossbow bolts when you see the enemy's health being low. Know when to crossbow and when to beam. A crossbow shot gives a burst heal that heals quicker than any medigun can. Use it on allies if there is no time to heal them in the usual way, and also to save teammates from certain death where a normal medigun beam just wouldn't be enough. Also keep an eye out for teammates with low HP standing still in the distance and crossbow them. Use your beam when there is no immediate emergency and you can just build up uber peacefully. Generally, always use the crossbow if you need so much healing done fast that your medigun can't handle. 
This goes for every medigun except the quick fix. Identify allies and enemies. You need to know which of your teammates are the most competent and prioritize heals on them. Uber only players who can do something with it. Sometimes it can be the right move to Uber the free to player pyro, but it is always a risk. Identifying decent teammates that you can roll with is critical for your success as medic. It's also important to keep an eye on the enemy team. Do they have a dangerous spy? Do they have some insane sniper or scout that you should have an eye out for? Keep these things in mind and get out of there if the situation might become too heated. Your life as a medic is more important than that of any of your teammates, so don't follow an overextending player to their suicide. Overheal them, wish them good luck and turn around. Medic has the most impact on a match and as the most important class, all of the enemy team will do everything in their power to take you down. Use the right settings. Your success as medic is also dependent on your game settings. Use a decent FOV and a view model to see enough of the stuff that's going on. I also recommend the medic specific settings in my TF2 settings video. The link is in the description. You really want to have an auto call to know which teammate needs healing. So many bad medic players don't have that and as a consequence you have to back up to 10 times for heals by pressing E until they finally understand and left click you with the medigun out. Positioning. It all comes down to staying out of enemy fire and going in when the time is ripe. It's important that the heal beam of your medigun can extend for quite some distance before it breaks. This maximum distance that it can extend to is longer than the distance necessary to attach the beam. Use that to your advantage and stay out of harm's way. Proper positioning and game sense can't be learned by watching a video or reading something. You have to use trial and error. I can't stress enough how important positioning is. It determines whether you carry a whole game or lose because you dropped all the time and couldn't uber and heal your team when you overextended and died too often. Every death should be a lesson. What could you have done better? Have you been standing still in the same spot for too long? Was it wise to walk in the obvious sniper sideline? Learn from your mistakes so that in time you will be able to read the situation better and improve. Keep in mind that the whole enemy team is out to get you because you play the most powerful class in the game. It has a reason that competitive play revolves completely around stock uber charge. It is just that powerful and game changing. That was my top 10 list on how to be the best medic. At the release of this video I have 120 hours playtime as medic. You might think that is almost nothing, but you don't need 2000 plus hours playtime as medic if you know the basics and you have your stuff figured out. At only 120 hours I am decent as medic, but I still improve with every game and learn from my mistakes. The hours are not that important. People can play medic forever without being able to distribute heals between teammates properly. If you master every aspect that is critical for your medic gameplay, you will carry games easily. Tell me how it worked out and what you think. Leave a like and a comment to help out my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.